Jerry May, the state is yours. I am from the state of Idaho. And for geography buffs, you like to find the state of Idaho because it's shaped like a boot, a cowboy boot. The top rests up against the nation of Canada. The heel rests on Utah and the toe points east towards Wyoming. My hometown is just about ankle and my family's business is a Western store and saddle making factory. For four years, I'd been away to college to get my bachelor's of business management degree. And I came home to my hometown and was working at the saddle shop and I couldn't wait as generation three of my family's business to share this wealth of information that I had gained at university. Well, I was standing out in front of the saddle shop one day and I looked up the road to see what had changed in the four years since I'd been gone. To the east, it didn't look like much. To the west, I saw a business opening up. A new business in this little town. This little town doesn't have a stoplight on Main Street, even though Main Street is a state highway. And there was a new business opening up and I could see a lot of activity going on. Now, the owner of this business was not from our, our town. He'd moved in from out of state. And in a town full of loggers and cowboys, this guy wore sandals. In a town full of rednecks, rednecks because their hair is short, this guy was a uh, long hair. And the craziest thing about him was that he'd started a business taking people on whitewater raft trips on the Salmon River, also known as the River of No Return. Imagine marketing that to families. But across the street from the saddle shop, he was opening up a retail store. Now at the university, my business professors were very clear when a competition comes into your neighborhood, you need to study them and you need to find out who their suppliers are, who their customers are, how are they marketing their business. And you want, according to my professors, to find a weakness that you can exploit so you can destroy your competition. I knew this to be true because professor after professor had told me this and I'd taken notes and I had my degree to prove it. So I watched my competition carefully and then I moseyed over across the street to just see a little closer look at what they were up to. And I walked into their store and I looked around to see what they were carrying. And I looked and I looked and I looked and the more I looked, the more unhappy I got because this is a town of just about 3,000 people. And I'm seeing that they're carrying merchandise a lot like what we carry just across the street at the saddle shop. So I marched over to the saddle shop to tell the news to my father, generation two at the saddle shop. And I went back to where he's building saddles. This requires laying leather out and carving it and tooling it into elaborate uh, flower patterns that go on these custom made saddles that he built and shipped all over the world. And my father was tooling. The sound effects of the saddle shop is always tap, 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 tap. And the saddle maker <laughs> never stops working to have a conversation because there's a customer waiting for that saddle. So I show up to the saddle shop and I say to my dad, Dad, you're never going to believe what's going on across there. Remember that guy, Frog? It's, that has the, the outfitter to take people down the river, no return. Well, he's opening up a retail store, and I just went over there to see what he's carrying, and he's got long underwear, he's got wool socks, he's got sweaters, he's got wool shirts, he has rain gear. He's even carrying red bandanas. Can you believe it? 
And my father, he just kept tooling. And he said, yeah, Jerry May, I, I knew about Frog. I'd heard about his, his store. What I want you to do is everything you can do to help them be successful. Well, <laughs> what? My business professors were clear and not one of them had ever suggested, even hinted, at helping out your competition. So I said, Dad, what are you talking about? And he said, Jerry May, this is a little town. People leave their homes, they leave their farms, they leave their ranches, they, de they decide to come to our little town where they can drive further and get to the bigger city. What we want is as many successful businesses as possible in our little town so that people choose to come here. Now, go help them be successful. Well, I'm an obedient daughter, so I marched over to do my competition, and I introduced myself, and I uh, got to know them, got to know Frog and his wife, and we started having conversations about what could happen that would help them be successful. And our first event was a style show where our customers modeled the incoming season and their customers modeled the incoming season. We had it at the only location big enough in town for the style show to happen. A lot of the models were the same people because a lot of our customers were their customers. A lot of their customers were our customers. We served champagne. We had a wonderful experience. And it was my first opportunity to see what my dad meant by putting your time and your energy into, not into bringing other people down, that, that that's not a good use of your time and your energy and, and your talent. Well, as time went on, they had, had sold enough raft trips on the River of No Return and their retail store did well enough not because of any help from me, but because they were really good business people and they worked really hard. They were able to buy a custom made saddle from my father and our family. We went on a float trip on the Salmon River, the river of no return. 